The goal is to have the animals move themselves through the pastures at the ideal rate. The land looked a lot different than it did in the pictures that I looked at. So they cut down the forest. So the house was had forests and now the forests are gone, all the timber's gone, which um, in some respects is good, in some respects is bad. God, these roads are just tiny. Just no room on the road. I don't know. At least it's paved, I guess. I got all this stuff in my head about what I was gonna do with the property, you know, kind of slowly, you know, use animals to transfer the land. But the, the land's been transferred. The land is completely, like, it's a freaking bare canvas to the level of scary a little bit. There's like whole big hillsides that are just bare now, no trees on them. My biggest concern now, I have to balance my concerns, but I have to be able to get my shipping containers in there and not only get them in there, get them in there in such a way that I can actually get at them and use them and, you know, just like the whole thing. So there is a big barn that has uh, a little bit of insulation big big high ceiling so all around that's gonna be the studio it's basically got nowhere better for it it's the biggest building that I can just totally allocate for yeah I mean the house has a garage I don't know if it's tall enough for my truck to fit in there probably not it's like a car garage so I can do something with the garage. I mean, really, the biggest problem I think I have is like the fact that the the house is uh, not got a whole lot of room inside the house. But really, our business is all about the sets. So I just build out the sets, and we don't need house sets. <clears throat> I just got off the phone with the uh, real estate agent and the property accepted the offer and uh, I think it was an accepted offer and uh, it even went like further in my benefit with uh, the reforestation allocation back like for logging, like they allocate a certain amount of money for acreage to get reforested after it's been logged. So I said, you know, I want to do that. I don't want you guys going in there and putting that crap along the way. So that the guy guessed at an amount that that would be, and it actually turned out to be more. I mean, this isn't a huge dollars here, it's a few hundred bucks, but still. Uh, it's just the type of people on this deal that I'm working with. Boy, if I was making this little documentary about selling my old house, oh, oh, I think these people just made, made up for, well, I don't know, I mean, this, they were just super nice for one second. These other people were miserable for months. Oh, sometimes, I probably just have to tell that story. I might have actually made some, I don't remember, I try to block out the trauma. So anyway, this house is, in its current incarnation, is almost com completely usable for one aspect of my video production company. I mean, it's bare bones to, to sustain that. But there is a shop that does not have a concrete floor. That is my best bet for a studio area. It needs work. Like, I need uh, bathrooms and showers. I mean, 
mean, that's just like bare minimum that I need. And, uh, well, that's an entirely new septic system. <laughs> I mean, I have to buy a septic system now to continue on with my studio build. I mean, this is like darn near building it from the ground up. And there's like, there's a structure in there and that structure has value. I mean, that structure would probably be about 40,000 or something. Maybe even more. Yeah, it's got power running to it. So, so yeah, it's definitely, anyway, stage one is going to have to be this whole septic system going in. And then stage two is going to have to be a uh, concrete floor inside and out that kind of, uh, I don't know, I gotta go through one wall. So I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna cut a hole and entry access point through one wall and then pour right through there. So I'll have one solid floor that extends all the way through the whole thing out into outside and then outside I'll have my shipping containers dropped and those will be the, the beginnings of then more studio area being added both within the containers and in between them so I'll then uh, put a roof over the the shipping containers and then there'll be a third shipping container on the end that kind of boxes it in to butt it up to the side of the building and if I could get that all done well let's say it takes like a month to get the septic system done and then it takes a month to get the pad cord I'm going kind of permanent. I'm not going to go like temporary. So everything that's going to be built up over it's going to be like a permanent type of situation. Permitted as well, which is going to be clever permitting because of the fact that, you know, this is a. I'm building a studio on farmland to make videos about farming. Well, I also have to have a studio to make videos. So. You know, it's just kind of all one in my mind. <laughs> Whether a county blah, blah, blah would see it that way or not, I don't know. But it's all farming, mostly. The amount of money that I'm going to bring into this little area, assuming they have, like, hardware stores that are freaking insanely expensive. But anyway, I'll bring a lot of money into the, into the county county taxes I'll be paying and all that so or no there is no county taxes there's property taxes eh, whatever bringing money into the beautifying a piece of property to make all this work I need to have a studio so that's what that's going to be so this is an update to the kind of the farming outline that I've been laying out had a lot of plans that I was going to turn the forest that I thought was on the land into usable farmland by using pigs in the forest and doing forest raised pigs to, to transform the land into good usable land. Well, all that's out the window because they logged it. It's like a completely different mindset of what direction to go. Like, I kind of have to get on it because I have bare land and it's crucial to cover that land with something. I just got, uh, got Richard's per Richard Perkins book. Yeah, Richard Perkins. It's a super awesome book. Thank you, Richard. You sent me two copies. I don't know why, but thank you. So yeah this is where I'm getting a lot of the information that I need to set this up I have come up with a lot of other plans whether I'm gonna be able to implement all this stuff all at once but basically taking a market garden strategy to growing ingredients for hot sauce and then uh, manufacturing the hot sauce and taking that all the way to uh, 
distribution. Possibly looking at like wholesale stuff, but really trying to market that stuff all the way out to its full potential. Um, that and uh, I just uh, stumbled across a, a, a way that uh, I could probably get citrus done too, which citrus is kind of a crucial ingredient into uh, hot sauce. It's a preservative, you know, instead of vinegar. Much, pre much more preferable in my opinion. If I could actually be growing citrus, all the citrus that I need for all the sauce that I make, that would be, because that would just put me down to uh, one or two ingredients. Uh, salt, maybe peppercorn, pepper, black pepper. I might need that as well, but to buy that, I, maybe I can grow that. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But the whole uh, goal is to grow everything. Now, uh, getting the infrastructure in that I would need to grow that citrus. <sighs> yeah. So we'll see about that. It's a kind of an expensive venture. And then there's the back. The upper part. Holy cow. That is the most epic. We're talking like terraced hillsides just like next level stuff it's gonna be super hard to plan out key line design I've got two artesian wells I can play around with ponds and creeks and just pretty much yeah it's gonna be amazing so a lot of uh, a lot of what I'm gonna try to do like the heated um, greenhouse uh, I'm trying to automate systems so I want to do pasture uh, turkey chicken and beef and probably eggs as well these egg mobiles and chicken tractors a really cool way to manage land so you run the cows through the cows and a few days later you run the chickens through and the chickens eat the in uh, larvae out of the uh, chicken or out of the the cow so it just keeps your bugs down right so you use the animals in such a way well people are out there and they have these chicken mobiles or chicken tractors and egg mobiles and every day they get their gas burning tractor or their gas burning cart or whatever I guess not in every single case some of these things get moved by hand but I see both so some get towed some get moved by hand what I want to do is I want to build automation into this right so robots basically and I'm going to do that with fencing and shelters on tracks so they'll be in theory you know this is this is something I'm thinking through my head whether I'll actually be able to get it th accomplished or not I'm not sure but I've seen robots that move cows and I've seen rolling greenhouses so these things combined together to to make the farm more automated so I'm trying to, to develop systems to remove ideally all the labor robot pickers for everything right but initially I'm, I'm looking at getting these pasture lanes standardized so I can uh, build so you know there's going to be a formula for cows moving across grass right they're moving across at a certain rate so the certain days it needs for a cow to be across here before divided by the four days three to four days when you run the chickens across so that'll give you measurements that you need to plan out the sizes of sensing so I'm looking at right like a lot of people have you know these little boxes of chickens or 
Uh, I've seen like little greenhouses, almost little greenhouses that they've built so they're portable so they can drag them across the, the field and give them the birds like new grass every day. Well, I'm looking at these portable green, the, uh, movable greenhouses and how the whole greenhouse moves, right? Now, I'm just gonna take a small slice of that. So we have a wide pasture but then tracks on either side, but then like basically a movable greenhouse, whatever they call them, that has the chickens in it, that has the feed automatic. So you load something with a lot of feed and then it distributes it out at a rate. It's hosed, uh, plugged into water. The chickens have automatic water. I mean, these systems are gonna have to be checked obviously but i'm saying that's the goal the goal is to automate this stuff the goal is to have the animals move themselves through the pastures at the ideal rate to get this regenerative agriculture and carbon sequestering agriculture optimized right Got all this cow and all this chicken and turkey and it's all getting worked into the ground and then the roots from all the trees are getting down in there and they're like growing up super awesome and they're raining down fruit that then like harvest it you know it's just like a, a system an ecosystem with robots that's the goal so if you know somebody that wants to build agricultural robots let me know in the comment section below